The Game and Fish Department is drawing criticism from local hunters over the way they hand out elk tags. They think New Mexicans should get preference over out-of-state hunters. But there are New Mexicans who benefit from the current system. News 13's Stephanie Chavez has both sides. It does bring in revenue, there's no doubt. Gustin Woods owns Pasamonte Hunts, a business that has been in his family for generations, leading hunters along 56,000 acres of land near Clayton. My family bought um, our place in 1934. My son's the sixth generation. Each year, Woods is given a certain number of elk licenses from the state, which he then sells to men and women looking to harvest an elk. This is all part of the elk private land use system. I would say 90% of our hunters that are from here are, um, or that, that we use are, are from out of state. Um, you know, Texas, Oklahoma, Virginia. Wood says those out of town hunters bring a lot of money to the state. Local taxidermy, to uh, them staying at restaurants, to Airbnb, to our local gun stores, you know, just selling ammo. Like one of our hunters bought three guns at our local store while he was here. Despite that, the elk private land use system is drawing criticism from local hunters and the New Mexico Wildlife Federation, saying it's unfair to locals. We're getting priced out not because of non-residents necessarily. It's a result of the fact that these tags are being sold to the highest bidder. According to a report released by the Wildlife Federation, more than 75% of all licenses issued through the e program are going to non-residents. Just last year, that generated over $83 million worth of sales to private individuals who are selling a public resource. Now the Wildlife Federation is asking the State Gaming Commission to review the policies and make appropriate changes, giving locals a better opportunity to draw. However, Game and Fish says even with the e program, New Mexicans are still getting more tags than out-of-staters. And at this moment, they have no plans to change their practices. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. For a look at that full report from the Wildlife Federation, you can head to our website, alwaysonkrqe.com.